Here I'm going to show you how to uh, place a card order and format your cards um, if you're doing your own formatting. Um, you can see that this is our Fine Art uh, Cards shopping cart page and right down here we've got a click here to download art card templates. So I'm going to download this zip to the desktop and then I'm going to open um, already for your benefit here I've done it once and this is the folder that gets downloaded after you've unzipped the file. Um, here I'm going to select the horizontal 5x7 art card template. The pink area that you see here is um, the area where the image needs to be. Um, here you can write anything that you want within this back area. Um, you can either leave the portion that we add in with the text here and um, or you can take out any of these elements that you want or change them. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to first uh, change the title of my piece here. I'm, I've opened this up in Photoshop and I'm going to call the title Rat, oops, Rat Race. And it's 2015, so I'm going to say 2015 and the copyright belongs to King Rat, which would be me. Um, here we'll change our uh, email. We're going to change this to be bellevuefineart at gmail.com, which is our email. And the website, of course, is the same. Bellevuefineart.com. Um, I don't want any extra text or anything there. That's all I want. Um, so the text portion looks formatted and good to go for me. This is exactly how I want the back of my card. For the front of my card, I need to take an image and put it there. So I'm going to go find my rat race image here. And I'm going to dump it into the file here. Now, <clears throat> let's be on a top layer so I can see it. Um, I need to size and rotate this so that it fits the card. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, take this image and size it down and rotate it around. Now this pink area is really is here f for a reason. We do have to have some margin on the card. Um, there's no way for us to print these cards with the image edge to edge. Um, also a lot of people will buy these cards and um, frame them and unless you leave a little room around the edge your image will get cut off by the frame so I've centered my image in this pink area here um, I, I, this is the way that I want it remember the fold is going to be right across the center here um, so you do need the image upside down compared to the text here um, I can turn the image guides on or off in Photoshop when I turn them on you can see that now the rat fits um, right inside this printable area that um, is defined by the pink I'm going to turn off the pink here or delete that layer in Photoshop let me pull this over so you can see it um, I'm going to go ahead and delete this layer in Photoshop because I don't need it anymore I've placed my file it's exactly like I want it. Now I'm going to save it for print. So I'm going to do the save as a dialog box. I can save it as a flat TIFF. So if I save it as a copy, I would uncheck layers um, or as a JPEG. So I'm going to go ahead and save this as a high, high quality JPEG. Um, I'm going to give the file a logical name, rat race five by seven card I'm going to save it as a high resolution JPEG and notice here that I make sure the embed color profile is checked so I save this and I'm gonna save it as a baseline standard at the maximum quality that I can and we are ready to go now that I've saved that file I have my card template saved I'm gonna go ahead and make my order here I've got a card size 5x7 folded. That is what I want. Um, I'm going to get a quantity of 20. 
Um, the way that we do the quantities on the website is we do them by increments of 10. We have a minimum quantity of 20 um, for a card. I'm going to add this to my shopping cart, after which point I will be able to upload the file that I've just created. Um, you can either select the file here um, by browsing your folders or you can drag and drop the file. So I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop this file now into my shopping cart area. Um, I can see that uh, I've got the file there and I can go ahead and proceed to the shopping cart and um, check out. That's all there is to it.